Do you remember me? This is your babouche. Yeah, babouche yeah. It's because of you that I can make YouTube videos. How much? Wait. How much? I never thought I'd buy a pigeon, but in Morocco, you can buy a pigeon. I'm gonna name you Paco. Go on, Paco. You're free now. There's a big world for you. There you go. How much do you buy? 100. What? You think so? Oh, good job, Paco. Wow, this is amazing. Thank you. The best babouche in Morocco. I want to help you out. 200, 400, 600, 800, 1000. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another beautiful day here in Fez, Morocco. Now, today, I have an extremely special video planned for you guys because we're going to be doing some giving back. For a lot of you guys who are new to the channel, you might not know this, but here in Morocco, here in Fez, is where my channel first got its big video. The video that monetized my channel and basically started everything for me here on YouTube. I came here roughly three years ago and I created a video not thinking it would get too much traction, just having fun and documenting my experiences as I brought my mom along with me on a trip. But that video ended up blowing up overnight and it went viral for my page at the time. And I went from 600 subscribers to 5,000 and it monetized my channel and well started everything that I have today. Now, I'm looking back right now and that video made me my very first $100. $110 is what it made me in total. And honestly, it would have made me a lot more, but I had no idea that you could even make money off of YouTube. So I didn't know how to put ads. I didn't know absolutely anything. But in this video, I ate some street food here in the Medina. And it wasn't until I made it to this booth where they were selling babouche, Moroccan babouche, which is essentially um, snails, escargot, that um, yeah, the video actually took off. People loved the fact that I tried the snails. They loved the vendor. So today we're heading back to the babouche stand with the same guy. He has no idea I'm here. And we're going to be purchasing a bowl of babouche, which costs roughly 50 dirham, which is like, or five dirham, which is roughly 50 US cents. And I'm going to be giving him all of the money that I made off of this video. So 110 US dollars is what we're going to be giving this man this morning. So join me as I show you around a little of the Medina and we make our way to the Babouche. Now, I was actually in a salon yesterday and they were telling me that Babouche is actually very, very hard to find, especially, or to create, especially when it's not rainy season because they're snails and they're not from the sea. They're actually from the dirt and they rise up during the rainy months. But this here, is the corner where I pretty much filmed that entire video and the babouche is down there at the end of the alley. So let's actually walk on over there. Let's get away from the crybabies and let's order ourselves some babouche. And I wonder if he's actually gonna recognize me. I have no idea, it's been a long time and these people see millions or, or thousands of faces every single day. Hello, how are you? Good, good. Babouche. Oh, delicious. You make today? Can I get one, please? One babouche. Babouche, Yes. Thank you. I want. Yes, please. Thank you. I don't think he understands me at all. I want to show you a video. I want to show you something. You remember? Oh, I need the hotspot again. So I actually ran out of data today. Gladys has the hotspot. I want to show you something. <laughs> Let's see if I can get on here. Okay, we're good. I want to show him the video to see if he remembers me. Do you remember me? <laughs> this is your babouche. Uh, babouche yeah. Look, that's you. Wait, I didn't really, I really didn't know what I was doing with the camera at the time, guys, but... Oh, man. Ah, I'm Look, that's you. Wait, 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 ah, wait. 
Wait, that you! <laughs> Thank you so much. Hey, it's because it's because of you that I can make YouTube videos. <laughs> Can I have some more of your babouche? Babouche, yeah. Yeah, thank you. No, that's what I did. I do so. Oh, not ready yet. But that's weird. Okay, so what time? Um, do so. Here, I'll give, I'll give you the calculator. So I guess the babouche isn't ready yet. Oh, at one o'clock. Okay, I come back. I'll come back. Thank you, merci. We'll come back. Thank you so much. Okay, I'll come back at one o'clock. Thank you. Wow, I wish I could speak French, but by the look on his face, though, I think he recognized me. I think so, or at least he remembers the video. I think when he he saw himself on the video, he remembered probably. Okay, so you know what? We're gonna come back here in about an hour time, and. We'll be buying the most expensive bowl of babouche <laughs> known to man. See you guys here in a few minutes. Or in an hour, I should say. So we ended up waiting close to two hours. It is just before two o'clock in the afternoon right now. And we are on our way back to go and purchase our babouche. But of course, I wanted to show you guys a little bit more of the Medina. But don't worry. Tomorrow, we'll be going on another fake market spree here in Fez. Now I know you guys love those videos and it should be pretty entertaining because here in this city, it is actually a lot, or the people are actually a lot more friendlier than those we came across in the Medina in Marrakesh. But yeah, here they do have, of course, a lot of knockoffs, but also a lot of handcrafted goods. Now I'm really hoping that he still has some babouche for us because as I was mentioning earlier and I think I forgot to explain the process all the way during the rainy season the snails are very easy to actually get and find but right now it's not rainy season so the price of the babouche actually goes up and the quantity of snails that he has is a lot less than what he would have if it was season So, wish me luck. Now, the reason I actually waited another hour was because we were walking around the Medina. We got taken by um, a gentleman who wanted to show us a tannery and Gladys was filming a nice video for you guys. So I'll leave her video linked down below if you'd like to see that experience because I don't think we'll be doing it again here on my channel. However, that is definitely one of those experiences you should have when in Fez. Wow, look at how beautiful everything is. So colorful, so vibrant. Definitely doing some souvenir shopping before we take off from here. So yeah, we're approaching the babouche stand here shortly. We're about one minute away and I'm gonna try my best to communicate with them using the Google Translate, but to be honest with you guys, Google Translate has been failing me a lot lately. A lot of the times I put in there what I want to say and it translates it completely wrong. So I've been actually trying to stay away from it. Now, before you guys let me know down in the comment section, why am I not getting a translator? Well, I'm not getting a translator for this video because we all know what happens. It's happened before plenty of times here on the channel. I get someone to translate for me when I'm giving away, you know, a nice chunk of change. And those people oftentimes want a piece of the pie. And I don't want that for this man. He seems like a really nice, humble guy. And I'd like for him to keep the small bit of money that I'm going to be giving him. Wow, look at the pigeons. I wonder how much it costs to free the pigeon. <laughs> Hello. How, how much? Wait. How much? How much for the pigeon? $150. $150? Will he do $100? 
50 درهم لا 50 درهم الواحد الواحد الجوج الجوج 100 for the pigeon okay i take this one i'll buy this one i'm gonna buy this guy and we're gonna let him free because nobody wants to see the pigeon in there does he bite is this your pet i never thought i'd buy a pigeon but in morocco you can buy a pigeon oh what do i do with it here oh are you giving me a bag i don't think i want to put them in a bag Oh, am I going to get to choose my pigeon? Wow. So right now I'm buying a pigeon here in Morocco. I wasn't expecting to buy a pigeon, but yeah, I'm going to buy one and I'm going to free him. Yeah, I'll take that one. He looks cute. Thank you. Take, take. You want me to take him? Can I put him in the box? Oh. Check, check. I'm, I'm scared to touch this thing. I don't. I, I just want to free the guy. For. Oh. Okay. So he can breathe. Yeah. Yes. Ah, okay. Okay. So he thinks I, I. I wonder where he found this pigeon. I never thought I'd be an owner of a pigeon, but I am today for five minutes. We're gonna let this guy go, though. Don't worry, guys. I just wanted him out of the cage. Man, I felt bad for the guy. Hello. I'm gonna name you Paco. Your name's Paco. <laughs> Moroccan pigeon. Uh, yes. Thank you. Wow, people in Morocco are so kind. Thank, Thank you. you. Merci. Okay. Yes. Merci. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so I... much. Oh, be careful with my pigeon. It's okay, Paco. Five more minutes, bro. Oh man. Okay, it's fine. Yes. It's good. Thank yes. you. Thank I think you. I think I'll be able to get them into the yes. U.S. like that for sure. Thank you. Oh, I got one. Service, 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 Yes. Oh. Service, service, service. It's fine. Thank you. Thank you. See, man. See. Hey, bro. How are you? How are you? Good. I just bought a pigeon. Yeah. A bird. See, look. You want to see? Good. Thank you. All right. Well, that just made for the walk to the babouche a little bit more interesting today. All right. Oh, you have a pigeon too. I have one too, bro. Yeah. What's his name? Have this Mimi. Mimi. Yeah. Mine's Paco. Oh, welcome. See you, bro. Wow. I'm not sure. Maybe that's a thing. Let me know down in the comment section if this is a thing. I'm not sure. I think it's. I think it's. Um, a little messed up but hey we all have pets some people think the same way about dogs and cats so it is what it is but i'm gonna let i'm gonna let the homie leave here in the next few minutes um should we take him to the babouche then i think we should go to the blue gate free the guy and then come to the babouche yes. okay oh man this is this is terrible but i feel like i also did a great deed what do you think yeah but what about the other one I should have bought the other one too. I'm sad because of the other one. <laughs> oh, we should have bought the other one. Should we go back and buy the other one? No, because then this is going to turn into a pigeon hunting video. Oh, bro, bro. Hey, what's up, bro? I'll come back later on. Thank you, thank you. All right, you know what? Let's go free the pigeon. And then um, we'll be all right. Actually, I'm going to free him by the snail guy. Okay. Let's do that. Okay, so we're back here in Babouche heaven, and I'm gonna free the pigeon. <laughs> Babouche ready? He's ready now. Babouche? Is ready? Hold on. I, I'm gonna free Paco. I'm gonna free Paco. You wanna see Paco? Oh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna let him go. Yes. I come right back. Right now. All right, I'm just gonna leave Paco right here. Hey, Paco, it was nice knowing you, bro. I wish I could take you home with me, but I don't think customs will like that. And to be honest, oh, Paco used the bathroom. All right, go, Paco. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. Go. 
Don't tell me you want to stay in the box, bro. Paco, come on, man. You know what? I want to take a picture of Paco for my memories, guys. Go on, Paco. You're free now. There's a big world for you. There you go. Don't go back towards the guy, bro. Oh, no. He went into the salon. Oh, no. Paco just came into the salon, bro. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Everything is good. I don't know why Paco's running into the salon. Maybe have a broken hand, maybe. Oh, no. Maybe. I bought him because I wanted him to be free, yes, you know? Yes, I, I know. How much do you buy? 100. What? It's expensive for a so bird, huh? expensive, just... Uh, yeah, just but he... 50, they, just 50 dirhams. But they had a mess in a tiny yes. little page. We have a lot like this. In here in Morocco, she... She's just like this to, to have inside his home. Maybe for a long time, she, he makes some message here. Uh -huh. It's boring from a long way. He, he know the way and to come uh, just a uh, messenger wow okay he used it like a messenger in a long time okay but uh, i think it's okay but the problem is you can see here yeah he can't fly because uh, oh, he's missing the wing yes he's wow. missing a wing well i'll give him to you if you like yes it's okay you but can have paco i can't i can't do nothing about this i just i, I hope oh, that no. i can't you think so like this oh Good job, Paco! Wow, thank you! Welcome. I'm gonna miss you, bro! Alright. Well, Paco, that was a nice <laughs> nice run with Paco. Wow, he just threw him up. I was scared of doing that. I was not gonna do that. Alright, now he came back for the babouche. <laughs> thank you, sir. How are you today? Yeah. Good day? Yes, thank you. Actually, glad. can I use your translator, please? I'm out of data, and I'm spending all my money on the donation. No, I'm joking. I'm going to get a, a data for me later on. Wow, this is amazing. Thank you. The best babouche in Morocco. Babouche, yeah, Morocco yeah. The best one. Wow. You know what? Let's take a nice little thumbnail, a nice picture. Thank you. Oh, that's the soup. No, no soup. No soup. Just this. Is it this? This is this. It's only the stomach. Oh, it's good for the stomach. Okay, I'll try it. Oh man, look at this, guys. We got a nice bowl of soup and a nice bowl of the babouche. Wow. Thank you so much. These look and smell incredible, just like the first time. So, this is what the babouche looked like. Oh. You don't eat this though, huh? Like this. There we go, guys. Very nice. Very good. Thank you. Wow, this is great. Ooh, very hot. Very hot, very hot. You know, here, let me see that. These are great, but I want to actually talk to him because I don't think he knows how much he means to me um, on my videos. Um, I came back to visit you because everyone loved you in my video last time. And this is what I'm going to tell him. Oh, right there, right there. Oh, you know what? I don't think he can actually read it. No Francais. No, no. Arabic. Arabic. Oh, Arabic, Arabic. Okay. Marhaba, thank you. Wow, what an honest guy. You see that? Honest reaction, I love it. Now, you know what? I'm gonna say, how much? 
is the the dish. We're gonna find out exactly how much this bowl of bogush is. How many deer ham? Twenty. Twenty deer ham. Yeah, ben deer. Okay, expensive, huh? Ben deer, wait. It's not in season. Oh, okay, okay. Here. How many? I'm gonna ask him. How many bowls does he sell in one day? How many bowls do you sell? Wow, that's all the babush. The bush. Hello. Hello. Do you speak Arabic, bro? A little bit. Can, can you help me out a little bit, please? Oh, you speak? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, we found a nice guy who's gonna help us out right now. Probably not enough, to. No? I, I want to ask him how many bowls of babush does he sell in one day? Oh, I don't know Got like a little different, so it's just... uh, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, thank you. Yeah. Is it a documentary? No, it's just that um, I started my YouTube journey in Morocco three years ago. Okay. He was the first video that helped me out, and I wanna, I wanna give him a, a nice tip for uh, being that person. But I wanna ask him how many of these he sells in one day. Nice. What's your YouTube name? Travel with Chris. Okay, interesting. Okay, That's thank so you. Cool. All right, man, nice to meet you. I guys. appreciate God it. Bless you guys. Thank you so much. Maybe here? I thought I thought he was gonna actually help me out, but I guess he, he didn't. His camera. A lot. Okay. Well, look. I want to help you out. 200, 400, 600, 800, 1,000. How much you? For you. For you. For you. All for you. All for you. I want to give that to you because you. It's because of you that I'm able to travel the world and make videos now. Hey, bro. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Please. Come here. So, I'm telling him. I made my first YouTube video, not my first one, three years ago with him, here. And he's the reason why I get I got followers because of the video. So I want to give him this tip because he's an amazing man and he helped me out so much. Can you tell him? Twenty, twenty-five, oh, okay. ten. Okay. Wow. Okay. Well, Sorry. thank you so much, bro. Hey, I'll come back and visit you before we leave. Thank you. Thank you. Merci beaucoup. Merci, man. Merci. I appreciate you, and I hope that helps you out a lot. I don't know what to do with the babouche. I like the babouche, but I don't want to eat all of it. It's okay. Too much. It's too much babouche. Here, I have one more. You want some? No, no, He's no. like, I eat this every day, bro. No, no. Okay. Let's have one more bite and then we're gonna take off, but... It's quite nice. Actually, this one's a lot better than the one I had in Marrakesh a few nights ago. I'm full though. Merci. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Can I get a napkin? Thank you so much. For you. For you. Merci. You know what? Can we take a picture? Oh, yeah. I'll come back. I'll come back around. And you know what? Let's hold us. And that's 
so much, Shokran. Shokran, te dejo eso. Thank you. No more, no more. I just, I just wanted to help you. Thank you. I appreciate you. Bye. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. Thank you. <laughs> I come back. Thank you so much. Bye. All right, guys. So, I didn't really want the bowl of snails. Snails isn't part of my diet, but I wanted to help him out. I wanted to come back, revisit him, and tell him how grateful I am for him. And, you know, we might not speak the same language, but I think he understood the message. And I'm glad that the barber came outside and helped us. He actually did Gladys's hair yesterday. He's a super awesome guy. Um, and we also find awesome people because of my beauty channel. <laughs> exactly. They were so awesome. We walked in there yesterday and they were so friendly. They were talking to us about Morocco, all of the different places we need to visit. Um, we talked about the World Cup. They knew so much about Gladys's country, Venezuela. They knew a lot about my country. And man, it was great. But yeah, guys, I think it's always important to remember where you started from. It's always remember to remind yourself where you're going. And it's always important to pay it forward to those who help you. Now, that $100, to be honest, it's not a lot for me. And I'm super grateful that I can say that. But for that man, that is a huge amount of money. And as he mentioned, he can sell 20 bowls a day. So 20 bowls, even at the price that he sold it to me at, he'd still only make $40. And you can imagine a lot of that is not all profits. Now, I still think the 20 was a bit expensive because the guy in the barbershop told us that when it is in season, it's around five dirham a bowl. And when it's not in season, it's around 10 dirham a bowl. But I'm not knocking him. He charged me another 10, that's perfectly fine because you gotta make your money, man. And he got to make a living. And $2, I think he's smart enough to know that it, that isn't a lot for us. And yeah, guys, thank you so much for making my dreams come true. I appreciate you guys more than you know. For all of you Moroccan people that have been here since that first video, my heart is full of love for you guys. And I will definitely be back in the future. For now, I'm gonna let you guys go because I'm a bit hungry, but not for babouche. I think I'm gonna go eat something else right now. Hey, cheers, bro. I'm gonna go eat something else right now and enjoy the rest of my time here in Fez. But I feel so good. I feel so good that I was able to come back and revisit one of the one of the special people that changed everything for me and for you guys because now we get to travel the world together and now we get to make videos all around the world and i'm forever grateful for that so if you're in fez come visit um i should have asked him his name oh wow yes hey what's up guys i should have asked him his name but we're gonna call him mr babouche <laughs> come see mr babouche and try some snails for your very first time or if you like them come there and eat a big bowl of them i mean you get a big bowl for two bucks or if you don't like it just buy one and give it to somebody else <laughs> the local people love it they even love drinking the broth so give it a shot and for now let's go eat lunch let's go eat lunch <laughs> later guys you were always smarter. i was the one to take a look